The question here is about doing a free webinar and how to make that webinar more interactive, more uh, engaging. So, um, so there are a couple ideas here for you. And, uh, you know, I'm just thinking about the ways that I've, I've made the webinar more engaging. Um, have exercises with timers. Um, so I often do this in my, in, my, in my courses. My courses are basically a bunch of live Zoom webinars that I record. I, I might teach something for a few minutes. And, and this is actually an, an overview, important thing to understand is that people's attention spans are very short um, due to many reasons how media is these days. Uh, I, I don't know exactly how many minutes the average attention span is before people get bored. I've heard all kinds of numbers. I mean, as short as like, you know, seconds, right? But that's, that's a little extreme. Let's just say that, um, you know, people probably can't sit through even a, even a 10 minute or, or certainly not a 20 minute talking segment without some interaction. Uh, so I would recommend really 10 minutes be the maximum length that you're just lecturing or, or explaining something or talking about something. Try to do it no more than 10 minutes before you have some interaction. And the interaction can be as simple as you just pausing and say, I'd love to see if you have any questions or if you have any thoughts on what I just said, any reflections, anything remind, you, you got reminded of or anything you'd like to add, any examples you'd like to add on what I just said or any questions. And you simply pause. And, and when you pause, you can literally pause the recording on Zoom because when you record on Zoom, once you start the recording, like I'm recording right now and I see that there are two options. I can stop the recording or I can pause the recording. And pausing the recording, and I'll, I'll give an example right now. Okay, I've just unpaused the recording and noticed how my hand suddenly moved. It's because when you pause the recording, you can pause for as long as you want. You can literally be waiting for the live people to, to add a comment or a question. And literally, you can pause for two or three minutes if, 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 if you want to. And then once you are ready to continue, in terms of the recording, you can then unpause the recording and the recording will seem like you didn't have any pause at all. You just continued on in a very smooth way. It's like, oh, I have a question here from a live attendee, et cetera. So the simplest way of interaction is just to stop, allow them to comment, and to, and to engage with the comments and say, hey, I want to thank Kali for having chatted. Uh, Kali wrote, you know, blah, 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 you know, et cetera. Um, yeah, actually, Kali wrote, sometimes people have been watching without engaging, and then something makes them reach out. Um, you know, so, so yeah, so that's why it's important to pause at least every 10 minutes to let them do the commenting. Okay. So the, so the, so the commenting questions is one way of, of in, in, making it more interactive. A second way I mentioned earlier was doing exercise. So what I do, if you take any of my courses in the past two years, I've been doing this. I basically, uh, put a timer up on the screen. I share my screen with a timer and a prompt and say, all right, let's do, and I usually do a timer of like three minutes. It's pretty common for me. I know three minutes sounds very short, but it's a surprising when you're on a live webinar or even a recorded one, how long three minutes feels for the, you know, all of you have been part of, part of my courses, right? Like, you know, like three minutes is surprisingly long to be, to journal something, to, you know, to answer a question, a prompt that you ask the, the audience to please journal in the chat below if you are comfortable or do it on your own private document. So, okay, so that's exercise. Three minutes is, 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 is a good time, but you could, you could do five minutes or seven minutes or even 10 minutes is a little long, honestly, for an exercise on live Zoom. I would say three to seven minutes is probably good. Okay, so, so doing a prompt and answering a question or something like that, or, um, oh, another way of engaging, making it more interactive is if you teach something that's like has some kind of body movement, uh, you can you can you could do a somatic exercise at that point. Okay, another way of engaging is to do a breakout group. You know, and Zoom makes breakout groups real easy. You could set up a breakout group of however many people: two people, three people, five people per group. Uh, and and nowadays you can you can also record breakout groups. You know, you record us. You know, and so I, I by the way I haven't actually done that. I haven't actually recorded a breakout group before, so I don't know exactly the technical details, but I know that you can, I've heard that you can. Um, now, whether you wanna record a breakout group is another question because people might not feel as comfortable sharing 
you know, vulnerably and they're, honestly, they know they're being recorded. The point of a breakout group is like there's privacy in sharing and people can meet each other, right? And when you have a breakout group, you can you can broadcast messages that goes in, you can broadcast a chat message that goes into all your breakout groups. So you can kind of remind them of the time, like, oh, there's three minutes left or, or whatever it is, or, or here's the next prompt or something like that. And so after the breakout group, it's always nice if you could bring a couple of people uh, to voice, to bring them on screen. And by the way, when, you, when you're doing Zoom, I hope you know how to use the speaker view so that you're recording yourself, just yourself most of the time. Nobody else is on. Even though you can see them on the strip, the, the people who are live, I can see you, a bunch of you on the strip, but people who are watching this recording can't see you unless I, I spotlight you or I, unless I put it into gallery view. So a lot of people make the mistake and record everything in gallery view, which is kind of embarrassing for everybody, right? Because they might be eating or something like that. So speaker view, all right. So having attendees you know, spotlighted uh, to, so you could make sure you let them know, hey, those of you who don't mind sharing in, for the recording, uh, if you have something brief to share, it's important to let them know, please keep it brief to 30 seconds or so. 30 seconds will turn into a minute, right? Because people don't know how long 30 seconds is. So yeah, so if you don't mind, please go ahead and raise your hand. I'd love to bring you on. And then you, you click uh, the participants list and you, you click more and you click add spotlight. And then they're now spotlighted and you ask them to unmute and, and they go ahead and share. So whether you have them share after a breakout room or if you don't do breakouts and you just want people to share, especially if you see comments and say, oh, I saw Mira here has a comment. And um, I, uh, you, you should name a couple of people. Oh, I saw comments here from Mira and Stephanie and Nick and Allison and Belinda. If one of you uh, would like to share verbally for the recording, um, it would be great for those who are watching later. So if, if one of you would like to unmute, go ahead and unmute and I'll bring you on. So that's a nice way of, of bringing people on without just putting one person on the spot, right? So, and um, uh, the last way of interacting that I've seen is if you are asking your, uh, your participants to like write something or draw something, you know, you could, you could put it and say, all right, I'm going to put it into, those of you who don't mind sharing your drawing for the recording, um, please keep your video on. Otherwise, please turn your camera off, turn your video off, click on stop video. I'm going to put it in the gallery view now, and then I want you all to hold it up. And it's not, it's not like the people in the recording are able to see everything, or even just a piece of writing. If they wrote something, you know, they could, they could show it just to show everybody, all right, to celebrate, you know, celebration, you know, is, a, is another way of interacting and keeping things interesting. So anyway, a couple ideas there uh, for you for, for the, for the uh, webinar, and I hope this is helpful.